Chill, Matt G, the Ghost Lady, and Len Moleko. Yes, 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 yes. Welcome to it, ladies and gentlemen. We are back. Podcast and chill. Uh, if you wonder where the you, ghost lady is, you're gonna exhaust all the sound effects. Yeah, man. Oh yeah. By the way, someone said I must I must bring back Hinda. I must bring back Hinda. Oh, so let me start again. Hinda, very many. So I must must I like get a signature like what up? Uh, it's up to you, dog. I don't okay, know what you cool. want to do. Is it? Oh, is it only exclusive to vendor people? Ah, uh, you can you can vibe with me. Okay, if you want. Hinda. It's up to you, man. It's up can to I you. say it right? Yeah. Okay. Cool. How many hours can you say in there? I don't know. <laughs> Imagine if you had to, if you like, you twanged, right? Oh yeah. And yeah. you had to say, would you actually be able to twang? Because you know, like, uh, asiklumi isizuli, yeah. those kind of things. Would you be able to do that with the vendor language? Oh no, 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 that would be difficult, eh? That would oh, be difficult. Damn. Yeah. Damn. But it would be interesting, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, we are here. Mac G, Len Molego in the building. Yeah, man, what up, what up, what up, what up? And uh, we, we, were, we experienced some Sunday drinking, which is demonic, bro. Oh, man. What time did you leave your house? I don't know. Yeah? I don't know. It was probably past midnight. Uh, you were toast. You were taking out secrets. I wasn't taking out secrets. <laughs> yes, you were. No, I was just telling the truth. Like the fact that you wore your woman's wig. <laughs> Yeah, she wanted to iron it and she needed somebody to help her with it. So, what am I supposed to do? Say no. Because if I do, no, 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 no. If I don't, actually. Not if I do, if I don't. Yeah. Some other nigga gonna do that. So, some other nigga's gonna wear her wig if you don't. Basically. Wow. More than that, actually. But, yeah. Nah, fam, I ain't doing that shit, man. Yeah, that's up to you. That's nah. cool. Like, there's craziest things that we do in relationships yeah. and that's one of them i was not wearing it because i was trying to uh slay out there <laughs> slay king uh, fuck yeah <laughs> somebody needed help and i assisted why not uh so last week during the week i was meant to interview dinero ranaka ne? so i give her a call she's like all right cool i'm coming through she comes through my house to let like five and then she's like uh can we drink on your podcast i'm like yeah of course so we go to the bottle store, get some Jack and Lime, and then we're like, all right, cool. After this class, we're going to record. <laughs> we're like, after this class, we're really going to record. We ended up not recording. But when I got here, the Jack was still closed. Yeah, because I was drinking wine first. Oh, so I killed the wine first. Oh, then oh. I went to the Jack. Uh, but it ended up being a very chilled night, because I think she left my house at about three in the morning. Yeah, no, nah, big ups to her. I left early because I was going to be in deep shit. Yeah. Mm. And she's like, no, well, I'm going to come on Wednesday. We're going to do this properly. I don't want it to be a normal podcast. So on Wednesday, so no, well, not on Wednesday, but like the Dineo episode, the Dineo Ranaka episode is going to be a production. Yeah, she wants to produce it herself. She wants to mix because now she's a DJ. Bona, yeah. Bona, yeah. Bona, and I'm not even talking about the magazine. Damn, <laughs> that's gonna be fire up in there, man. And I was actually disappointed when we didn't record because when we were chilling outside drinking, she dropped so much knowledge, dude. Because we're literally and catching files. up, yeah. Because we're catching up because I hadn't seen her in a long time, mm. you know. And she dropped a lot of knowledge. What did you gain from that night? No, dude, a lot. Uh, if I do say it, I feel like. I will then be taking away from what she needs to say. Imagine if I scooped you before scoop. Yeah, true, true. You know? So, I, I rather, rather, no, rather I don't, rather I don't. Uh, let me let Dineo Ranaka, the queen herself, speaking, drop that knowledge. Speaking about scoop, dude, I still get... Um, scooped. Like, messages right now about that interview. I know, of course, man, it was dope. Yeah, yeah. Proper, proper hello dope. If it's, you haven't seen it, do yourself a favor, check it out, man. So and all the other ones. Yeah. Truth yeah, be told. Yeah. Black yeah, Friday. Yeah. Zintle. Mm -hmm. Uh who else have we interviewed? I Dimbi. Yeah, yeah. Uh who else? I don't keep track of this. What yeah. episode is this? Uh I think it's thirty nine, yeah. Thirty eight to thirty nine. Okay, whatever. Anyway. Oh shit. I was actually thinking about something. Yeah, right? Wait, wait. So you know like uh, I would like to assume, and if you don't know, uh, I will drop some knowledge. Mm -hmm. So in cricket, ne, when you I, reach I think 50, from now on, ne, when you're dropping knowledge, you're going to call it, I'll scoop you. <laughs> <laughs> the scoop moment. Yeah. <laughs> and this is our scoop moment of the week. Yeah. 
So, in cricket, when you score 50 runs, uh -huh. there's like a little mini celebration that you have. And generally in life as well. I know my mom was like besides herself when she turned 50. And some, I reached 50. Cricket, you do the same thing. Like, you know, you will be like. Do you think you're going to reach 50? Age-wise? Yeah. Yo, with the amount of alcohol I consume <laughs> and that. If you want to reach 50, dude, I've got no hope, bruh. <laughs> and the smoking I do, I yeah. like, yo, bruh. And. I was actually thinking about something. Ish, now I'm becoming a scoop now. Yes. <laughs> okay, finish the cricket thing. Uh, finish okay, the cricket so thing. the cricket thing, mm. like when you get to 50 in cricket, um, like you'll just like score your 50 and then be like, you know, raise your bet a little bit or whatever. It's like in soccer when you score a head trick yeah. kind of thing, right? So I'm thinking, we're 39, all right? We reach 50. Why shouldn't we celebrate the fact that we reach 50 episodes? Mm. What would you want to do? Have a party, nigga. What you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Any excuse to have a party because you don't go out. Eh? That's also true. That's also true. That's also. But you go out because you are mandated to do it. Yeah, I get paid to go out. Exactly. So now I'm as paid to go out. Yeah. Imagine paying to see you. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Never waste my money, man. <laughs> All right. So listen, since Ghost Lady is in here, I decided... Oh, well, she's I not here. I didn't even notice. Oh, okay. Shit. Cool. Yeah, no, I didn't notice. So I thought it'd be a good idea to play a game because I haven't played a game in a very long time. What game are we playing? Who's the next Ghost Lady? No, I'm just going to have some... Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to have some quick You can fun. send us CVs, by the way, podcast at thisismcg.com. <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> uh, I'm just going to ask you some quick fire questions, right? Fire questions. Yeah, quick fire questions. And then just answer truthfully. Okay. okay. And hopefully by the end of the segment, people will get to know you better. Or well, since Ghost Lady is not here, you might as just well interview me. Fuck. Okay, cool. Here we go. Here we go. Here's the first question. Twitter or Instagram? Through a game. Twitter. Twitter. Yes. Why Twitter? I, because Instagram looks very optic driven. Mm. Uh, I'm more of a get my point across kind of through words yeah. and whatever you read it, you don't read it. It's up to you. I really don't care. Instagram dog. I can't compete with the food. With I can't compete beans. with the cars. <laughs> I know I can compete. If I post my girl, I can compete there. Um, I can't compete with the sneakers. So cars, cars. No, I do have cars, but I just can't compete with them. Yeah. That's what I'm trying to say. Yeah. They're just modes of transport. And by the way, I saw your Instagram the other day. It's trash, dude. Which your, one? Your Instagram account is horrible. <laughs> it is horrible. But that's why I chose Twitter. Yeah. Yeah, you yeah. know? What's your Instagram handle, Vela? So people can check it out. Everything on social media is the same. Uh, L-E-N-N underscore Moleko. Because your Instagram posts are so random. One day you'll be posting a sneaker. The next day it's Boston Legal. Yes. <laughs> one of the best series to ever be produced. All right. Last person you called. My girlfriend. Oh, is it? Yeah. What were you saying? I was telling her about Omunye Pesco Omunye, and I was not talking about me and her. I was talking about like there's some accident that happened on the highway by Eden mm. Vale. I think it was by Modefontaine. So a car was on top of a car. Oh, I saw the I saw the pictures. Oh, that looked yes. horrible, eh? So, and the reason why I say Omunye Pesco Omunye was because on one of the captions that Rob Beasy had, because I clearly know he's a traffic guy. He's the best traffic Mm, reader is it traffic reader commentator yeah that he's, guy sounds like he's commentating dude. traffic <laughs> well if you're on Mali Bengo drive you want to drive like you know try keep to the left because the right is like you know yeah, yeah it's cool and you and know he does all of that from his house you're kidding I kid you levels not. levels he does that from his house yes. he does that from his house I don't even know what he looks like do you know what he looks like I think he's short I think he's white <laughs> get the bed <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I think he's short. I think he's white. And he's a bit plum, but not, yeah, not fat. But like, he's me and you put together. Mm. Yeah, body wise, kind of thing. That, you that's know? the thing with like before social media, radio DJs used to fuck me up, dude. Because you'd be listening to them. I used to listen to, to Rude Boy Paul. And the first time I met him, I had no idea he's so short, bro. Yeah. <laughs> he was tidy. Homie was telling you. No, but it's generally like how it is with. Think about it. How many people have you met 
that you spoke to on the phone first. Yeah. And when you spoke to them on the phone, you were like, <laughs> yo, you can get it now. I can risk it all. Yeah. And yeah. then you meet them in person and you're like, I risk analysis, uh, not worth it kind of thing. Because like when I was at 947, when people would see me at like Jovic Day, they'd be like, oh, you black? <laughs> I thought I was white, dog. Uh, no, I think they were just reaching. You reckon? Nah, they were reaching. I got that a lot. They were, they, no, they're reaching. Look, um, lucky enough for you, uh, and the reason why I say that is, I think if it was not for the name, a lot of people would think that the lucky in Greg <laughs> is white. Uh, a lot of people think like he's white exactly but yeah. he's a black oak so it's all in the voice man and like how you play with it and shit you know but fresh looks like he sounds yeah i know fresh yeah. Im- Im- he embodies his voice yeah yeah mm. okay cool best achievement in your career so far oh, which one what do you mean i've had lots of careers <laughs> Whichever one you want to talk about, though. Broadcast, PR, social media management, journalism. Which one? Whichever one Pick you want to sp- talk about, your best achievement. <sighs> that is a very difficult question, actually. Mm. Because. Excuse. You know the saying that you were only as good as your last game. King, are you. <laughs> no, it's kicking you. Oh. She was kicking you. <laughs> Is it your past? <laughs> so, Twasa, are you a boy T? Anyway, so, you're only as good as your last game. And if I say my best achievement, my best achievement would be what I did today. It sounds like a bullshit answer. It sounds like you haven't achieved anything. Well, what is an achievement? Whatever you deem an achievement. No, it's fine. I don't, I'm, I'm not about it. I'm, 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 a, I'm a person who's not about accolades, man. Mm. Yeah, I just do what I do, and as long as it's done and I can see it happen, I'm happy. I sleep, I sleep very well, like a baby boy. Okay. No, not like a baby boy, but like a baby boy. Mm. Yeah. So I've had many of those, mm-hmm. but if we had to say, what is the one thing that you've done in your career that stands out? Yeah, now that's a different scenario. Okay, which what would that be? Jeez, that would be interviewing. Shit, I've interviewed so many people. But I think that would be covering the World Cup in 2010. Oh, yeah, that was sick, dude. Yeah, 30 yeah. days of no sleep, of not sleeping in the same place for more than two days. And you got to see most of the games, ne? Yeah. Yeah. Durban, Cape Town. Did you get to meet PE. like any of the soccer stars, like Messi, Ronaldo? Uh, Messi was not particularly well he was a star but no i didn't get to see them uh per se because it was oh i did see them but from afar because i was in the stadium but i never got to interview them Mm. yes okay uh who do you look up to in the industry nobody okay we've had this discussion before all right yeah uh top five rappers give me your list worldwide yeah uh we'd go Do I start five up or one down? You can start five going up. Shit, that's difficult, actually. <clears throat> I'm going to go one down. Okay. M. Jigger. Mm. Wait, alive or dead? Doesn't matter. Okay, cool. Park. Mm-hmm. Biggie. Mm-hmm. M. Mm. Nas. Jay-Z and the game. Uh, they gave me. Yeah, I think the game is a very, very good rap. Their game? Yes. <laughs> Jason Taylor himself. Nah, dude, you're reaching. No, the game Better is... than Kanye. Better Ka- than Drake. Kanye is a good producer. Drake, we've had this discussion before. I think I've said it on the podcast. I I feel him. He's okay for me Better to Better than learn. Lil Wayne. Wayne is right. What? You said my top five. Hey. Yeah, no. Yeah, yeah, that doesn't yeah. mean I can't question it. No, nah, it's okay. Question it. It's all cool. But like, that's my top five. So M, Jigger. No, no, no I Jigger. said Park, Park Biggie, Biggie, M, Nas, Nas Jigger slash Game. Hmm. I only have three in there. The other two I wouldn't put in there. Okay, that's fine. Mm. All right, cool. Uh, last series you enjoyed on Netflix? <laughs> the Blacklist. 
Oh, is it on Netflix? Yes. Ah. I actually noticed that season four was there, and I had never watched season four. So I got to finish it and actually see if I ruin it for you. I'm sorry. Because, I mean, it's been out. Yeah. Uh, I got to notice that uh, Mr. Kaplan actually ends up screwing Ray over. Mm, mm, yes. Mm, and mm. she did it so impeccably. I, I used to love it when it started, but I felt like it went on for too long and just got disinterested and stopped watching. But in the beginning, it was so... Dope. No, I think the first four, mm. until the story of Mr. Kaplan mm. comes out, and how she does all she does to screw Ray over. That's cool. But anything after that, I don't know if you've seen season five. No, no, no. Like I said, I stopped, I, I just lost interest. Okay, cool. There's season five where <clears throat> Ray is apparently broke. Mm. Doesn't make sense. Mm. Type of thing, you know? Because mm. this is a man who had money literally from all corners of the world. Yeah. Including Cape Town. Because he said somewhere like, ha! I remember when we met in Cape Town. What were we having? Was it fish? Oh, but it doesn't matter. The reason why I called you here today, that shows how long I've been watching The Blacklist. Is that you bring out your drama skills? No, that's me bringing out the Ray in me. <laughs> <laughs> and I sort of like, I'm a big fan of uh, J- James Spader because I'm also a huge fan of Boston League. Oh, yes. makes sense. So uh, that is why. But don't you feel like there's some series that just go on for too long? Like Empire is one of them. Empire, I should have stopped. I stopped oh, season, season one. Two. Suits You know the when, same. when 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 The Rock was a bad guy in jail, <laughs> ah, they should have stopped from there. No, Chris Rock, not Chris the Rock. Rock. Yeah, yes. Chris Rock. Yeah, yeah. They were yeah. after having Kevin Hart in jail as a baddie. <laughs> Fucking hell. I don't care about Kevin Hart <laughs> yeah. as a bad person, you yeah, know, because yeah. he's funny and I think he's very typecast. Yeah. Uh, suits as well, yeah. Suits, suits, suits went on good. for too long. Yeah. Uh, I had the, suit in the beginning. No, the first season was. Oh, no, the first fire. two seasons were very fire, good. Fire. Game of Thrones, the winter never really came for me. <laughs> to this day. You're fucking kidding me. Dude. No, I, I've never watched. I think the most I've watched of Game of Thrones was about 20 minutes, and wow. I couldn't go any further. Wow, I love it. And that would go to episode one, season one. Oh, my, my woman wants to catch up because the new season is coming, which is the final season. Oh, so. yeah. yeah. I've, I've noticed a lot of people are very obsessed with the fact that, oh, my God, the winter is coming for the final time. I know characters because a friend of mine named his first car Carl Drogo, mm. which I think was a very dope name yeah. for a car until I knew who Carl Drogo was. Yeah. There's the little person. I forgot his name. Ah, uh, Tyrion. Um. Yeah, I know who you're talking about. Yes, and a lot of people seem to like him. Yeah, he's cool. And he's somebody actually got to a point whereby he saw Tyron Lannister. Mm. Lannister, yes, he's Lannister. There we go. He's a Lannister. Yeah. Somebody actually sold me short and said, Jorge, I think you are. Your mannerisms and your characteristics are very similar to the bloke. Yeah, yeah, actually, yeah, because he reads a lot, which you do as well. Yeah, he knows a lot, which you do as not as well. So he he drinks a lot, which I do as well. Oh, but he fucks a lot of prostitutes, which I don't do. <laughs> so, but he's like an underdog, but he's actually the shit deep down. If you get to know him, yeah, true. Yeah, no, nah, well, I've, I've heard a lot shit, of shit. Who told you that? That's actually quite spot on, eh? Uh, somebody, I think it's a guy who does uh podcast and chill, <laughs> oh, Mechi, our voiceover the ghost guy, lady, <laughs> and Len Moleko. <laughs> Him, uh, yes. So he's the guy who told me that. Yeah. And yeah, uh, for me, I think like, but then again, it is very, it's engaging. People love it. So oh, that's it's why amazing. it's gone on for so long. Uh, I'm not going to say Breaking Bad because I never got into that as well. What? And you would, what? Want, you would want to slit my throat because. Breaking Bad, my nigga. I never got into Breaking Bad. Oh. Oh my goodness, I used to love that. I was so sad when it came to an end. I think I'm going to feel the same way about Game of Thrones. Ah, it's over, Chief. Yeah. I, I, I was sad when Boston Legal ended. Yeah. It's the same thing. But chances are, in a few years' time, they're probably going to do a Game of Thrones movie. It's not really, really the end. They're probably going to bring it back in some shape or form. Hopefully, hopefully. But yeah, that's... Because they're working on a Breaking Bad movie right now. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Mm. yeah. But yeah, that's pretty much the last series that i watched that was uh the blacklist mm. uh but the one thing that i watched that i'm still hacked that it has not been turned into a movie is the boondocks 
Mm. I think a Boondocks movie would have been dope. I've never really gotten into Boondocks, South Park cartoons. I don't think so. I am a stone that the builder refused. Mm. Yeah, that's dope. Because the Boondocks was when it came out, they went for R. Kelly, they went for Kim Kardashian. Kim, K- well, that was like later on. Mm. Mm. But in totality, they went for R. Kelly, they went for Martin Luther King, Oprah, Barack Obama. Why do I say Barack? Barack Obama. (laughs) And, uh, geez, man, like a lot of people, bro. Like, Mm. um, Aaron Magruder, uh, was like, yeah, no, that, and the minute he stopped, actually, I think when you started watching it, when you got into it, he had stopped becoming an EP of the series Mm. and it felt a bit watered down Mm. kind of thing. All right. Do you know about the nigger moment? No. Okay, never mind. Yeah. It's okay. Aren't you gonna elaborate? No, 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 no. Okay. That you need to see. Uh funniest thing you've read about yourself on the internet. <sighs> I've been trolled a lot. For real? Uh, Who would want to troll you, dude? No, but like this is so when you are on mainstream media mm. and you say certain things. That yeah. people don't agree with. Yeah. They'll say some shit. So there's been a lot, but I, 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 there's not a lot of nonsense that's really been said about me. So you can't remember anything? No, nah, nothing stands out. Mm. And if there was something that stood out, it really didn't mean that much because a sheep does not, I mean, rather, a lion does not go to sleep over an opinion of a sheep. That's from Game of Thrones. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know. I guess who said it? Lannister. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you have it. <laughs> All right. Have you ever faked an orgasm? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> no, I rocked you. I rocked you. Uh, that's one thing that I do that I will never be a Jay-Z slash that other nigga yeah, yeah. cause unfinished business is not my thing uh, yeah mm-hmm. so gotta finish the business man gotta finish the business oh, I've never actually asked you this uh, how did you break your virginity I had sex yeah how did it happen <laughs> <laughs> how did it happen I don't remember ah come on my lead ah, come on I don't remember come on I don't remember I honestly don't remember it's there somewhere come on and I don't do you know how much is in here uh, were you in high school no primary I was in varsity you broke your virginity in varsity yes so, I think I was eight, going to 18 you were late bloomer eh? who decided the blooming age the world mm. just like to decide the price of petrol Fuck the world! <laughs> uh, so you're in varsity? Mm, I was in varsity. Do you remember year. the girl? Mm, do I? No. Was it at your room where you were staying? In my cottage, yes. You stayed at a cottage? Because mm. mm. I remember after that, I think subsequently two or three months after that, there's another girl who moved in in the second semester and then her friend came to visit and then... You smashed? Yeah, both of them. Wow! So you remember when you smashed? No, I don't, I don't remember. The virginity, I don't remember. Mm. I'm saying the girl who moved in mm. when I was in first year. She moved in second, so like the second six months mm. of me being in varsity. Uh, there's a girl who moved into the commune that I stayed at. Mm. So her friend came to visit like a couple of weeks later. And then uh, we vibed. And first year is nice, isn't it? Shit went down. First year is nice. No, I hated my first year. I feel like in varsity, that's when everybody experiences, experiments, I mean, like with everything, you know? No, I think third year is better because that's when you like, you've been around, you know, all the corners of wherever you are. Mm-hmm. And yeah, you know, you'd be like, yo, uh, baby girl, oh, but a student center. Now, nah, let me walk you there. Yeah. Are you looking for, which faculty are you looking for? Yeah. Economics and, no, nah, I'll, I'll take you, I'll take you, I'll take you. Come. Yeah. You know, mm. so mm. it's it's like being in standard six. Oh shit, I'm showing my age in grade eight. <laughs> um, grade eight, grade eight. I meant to say grade eight. 
uh, it's like you're in grade eight, and the minute you're in grade eight and you're starting in a school, you get bullied a lot. And like all the metrics and shit are walking all over you, making you carry their bags, yeah. and you do all sorts of crazy shit. But once you're in matric, you're like, yeah, I got this shit. So I think third year is better. What was weird for me in high school is uh, my friends got bullied because I was a geek. But I was on TV at the time. So the guys that bullied my friends thought I was cool because I was on TV. Oh. So I'd never get bullied. But my friends would get bullied. You got a free pass. <laughs> well, I was never bullied in high school, actually. Come mm. to think of it. Yeah. yeah. So I had a pretty chilled high you, school. You were one of the cool kids. I would like to think so. Is it? Yeah. I was a, I was a model learner. Because mm. I can't say student. Mm. I learned a lot. So the word works for me. So, yeah. And I think I know the answer to this one. Go to porn website. Come on now. <laughs> you should have assured you're an ambassador, my nigga. And funny enough, I was reading something over the weekend, which I know is crap. Yeah. Somebody was saying that for a video that's over... Oh, by what? the way, just just tell people what the website is. Cause oh, I it's know. Pornhub.com. Yeah, Pornhub. Um, he Pornhubbed it. <laughs> Another scoop moment. <laughs> but somebody was saying over the uh, on Twitter, yeah. I think it was over the weekend, that there's... A relatively good sum of money that you get if you load content on Pornhub. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw that. I think it's about $35,000. Appar- no, 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 no. Rands. Converted, it's 35,000 rands. Oh, yes. for like a video, 30 seconds video. Not 30 seconds. It's more than 30 seconds. It's a considerable amount of, I think. But it has to be amateur. I don't know. Yeah, I think it has to be amateur. I'm not registered to that level. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mm-hmm. just... Literally go in, in and, and out. out. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, but well, that's crazy, man. If shit hits the fan, would you do that? Thirty five k is a lot of money, bro. At some people's salaries, man. You know what I mean. Uh, I can neither deny nor confirm that it's mine or less. But like, yeah, uh, no, I wouldn't. Mm-hmm. Does your partner satisfy you? Ah, stand up. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. why I'm still with her. Mm. How did you meet her? Get jealous, talk. I've told you this before, though. On the podcast, yeah. we used to work together. You and uh, your woman? Yes. Mm. We used to work together. And then? And then I was like, ah, she's actually cool. Uh. And then we would talk, and then we would take, like, windy walks to go buy food at McDonald's and Santon. And she was going through some shit. I had just broken up with somebody, and I was going to a wedding in December, uh, a friend of mine was getting married. Bucks, big ups, big mm. ups. Um, and I didn't have anybody to go with. So I was like, do you want to go to a wedding? She was like, oh, yes, of course. Mm. And then we went to the wedding together. And when we came back from the wedding, we went on a dinner date. When are we going to your wedding? Soon. Soon? We- weddings are expensive. Soon. Enough. No, if the guys, if uh, Bond, we can... We can crowdfund my wedding and all of you guys are invited. <laughs> crowdfund my wedding and all you guys are invited. So before I'll, buy, th- I'll buy the ring. Yeah. I'll buy the ring. So if we can come to a consensus of a day. Yeah. Or date mm-hmm. rather. Mm-hmm. Ne? And we crowdfund. I'm there, boy. Mm. Mm. The, the ring and the lobolas, don't worry about it. Yeah, we got to have one married person in the podcast, man. Quite amazing, like we're out here, you know, just mm. farting and sitting. <laughs> it's not. Yeah. It's not farting and sitting. It's trials. <laughs> it's trials. You are learning. Before you write a test. Yeah. You know, you must read the book first. Mm. Yeah. So before the end of the year. If the crowdfund comes up, if, if the, dude, weddings are expensive, bro. Yeah. Weddings How are much are weddings? How much do you got, do you got to have? Do, 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 to have do, do, a simple do, do, wedding. Do, 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 do. What is a simple wedding? 100 people. How many legs of the wedding do you have? Hmm? How many legs of the wedding do you have? What do you mean? You know, like in soccer, there's a first leg and second leg. Oh. Home and uh, away. Just one. I just want to know basic. Uh, do you want a European traditional uh, wedding? Hey, chief. I'm, I'm or getting a married. traditional uh, African wedding? Chief, I'm getting married next week. Nah. What's the basic um, uh, money I must have to have a proper wedding? Okay. So, do you want to get married or do you want to have a wedding? Wedding. Okay, wedding. Yo, 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 yo. 
I feel like you don't know this. You can buy a ring at stands for 2000. Can you get a ring for 2000? Yeah. Isn't that shit like 30, 40k? It depends which one. Are you going to browns or stands? Uh, so that's base, it, basic ring, two grand. Basic ring, two grand. Okay. For you. So there's there's first an engagement ring. Yeah. And then uh, connecting a band that goes with the engagement okay. ring. Okay. That, that's the one that you put on at the wedding day. <clears throat> yeah. yeah. So that's that. So let's say for rings for both you and her, budget, you go five grand. Yeah rings out of the way and then there's all the admin of home affairs and what what changing the names okay i think this is gonna take forever 100k can have a wedding with 100k yeah you can Uh, 50k can have a wedding 50k you can 20k are you pushing it that's that's a bri wedding That is a bri wedding. Oh, you should almost out of time. But listen, we can also end. clothes as well yeah. that you have to buy. Yeah. You know, a suit or you can get married in your. Oh, shit. Mm-hmm. Look at that. What? So you made sure today you're going to be like, yeah, no, gigs. I'm with you, chief. I'm with you, Giggsy. Ryan Giggs. Oh, yeah. Oh, Ryan Giggs is in the country. That's why he's wearing Man United shirt. No, I just felt like wearing it today. Oh, ah, but anyway, right. so listen, we cannot end the show without talking about something that happened this morning. Oh, man. Um, I had so much I wanted to talk on the, on the podcast about, right? What, when I woke up and went to work. Mm-hmm. When I woke up and went to work. I don't know. What do you mean? No, you said something that happened this morning. Yes. Oh. So I woke up, right? Went on my timeline. And then I saw... The... Is that the first thing that you do? Yeah, every single morning. You know what's funny? I think a lot of people, the first thing that you do when you wake up ne, is... Before you brush your teeth, yeah. before you let another one out, have a morning glory with yourself or with somebody else, <laughs> <laughs> before you fucking do, before anything that you do, bro, the first thing that you do is touch your phone, yeah. either go on your WhatsApp, yeah. Instagram, or Facebook. Yeah. Every single morning, I go on my Twitter. That's twisted. Yeah, it's crazy. That's a religion. It's crazy. Shit. So I go on my timeline, right? And then I see um, Advocate Barry Rue, because I follow him. Oh. And then he's like, here's the full video of what uh, Mapinja did to babes. Oh, well, mm. I'm like, and then I watched the video. Oh, my goodness. It brought back so many bad memories, man. Like, yo. Look, this is simple. Fuck Mapinja, I'm done. Not that I was ever with him. Yeah. But like, just fuck him. I'm saying I'm done with the conversation. Where were you when you uh, saw the video? Have you seen it? Uh, no, I saw the video. I think I, it's just as I got to work. Mm. Yeah. Um, but just fuck him fuck him fuck so this is how i'm gonna do this yeah right yeah fuck mom pincha fuck his friends who know that he does this and fuck everybody who was there and they've seen this happen and if you do what mom pincha does then fuck you too yeah all you niggas that roll with that nigga and know what that nigga is doing fuck you too why do you think men beat up women? Because it's been happening for years. It's... I personally think the reason why that happens is that... Uh, <clears throat> your self-esteem is so low, mm. right? That... Because of how you were programmed... And I say program because this is society's fault. Yeah. You were raised. Yeah. And upon being raised, what you saw was that the man is the head of the house. Yeah. And upon seeing that, and because this did not start yesterday. This no. has been prevalent for the longest time. For the love for, for, for centuries. All right? Yeah. So because this is what you saw. Or this is what was happening next door. Yeah. And having physical power over somebody for some odd reason gives people gratification. Yeah. That's why you brag about beating another nigga up. Yeah. Yeah. You know? So because that gives you gratification and it makes you feel good about... <clears throat> the low life that you are Mm. we like we carry that 
with us mm. growing up and it seemed okay yeah so unfortunately for our parents it happened not a lot of them reported it or walked yeah. away from it and you and know what stuff. i can i can i can relate to that because um you know i agree with you because you know we are a product of our environment you know what i'm saying yeah so growing up like to me it was normal mm. i saw it everywhere mm. uh, i'd see my uncles beat up their girlfriends i'd see my every single man figure because i was raised by my mom you see mm. so i never had like a father but every single man figure used to do that mm. i mean even my mother used to get beaten by ex-boyfriends mm. there was this one boyfriend um it was crazy dude he was a cop right so uh he was beating up my mother and then she was like nah here i'm gonna die well one so she got me out we got into the car and this guy had a gun because he was a cop yeah and he actually shot at us i was still young you know uh and then we managed to flee that situation and then from that moment she decided fuck it my son will never ever see this ever again and ever since then every any man who raises their hands on whatever she's out no matter how much she loves them mm. or whatever so what i'm trying to say is that i think as men we need to break the cycle because because you know what's funny wait here let me finish okay cool because like i said growing up and seeing that it was like it's normal that's what you do but being older and more mature i realized that actually hitting a woman is the most unmanly thing to do but oh, you see i think that's that's and, how fucked up it no, is no 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 the, and therein lies the problem why do you have to categorize that as an unmanly thing to do why can it not be an unhuman thing to do mm, mm, see mm. and that's the problem those three letters m a n mm sort of like automatically gives people the idea that I am superior yes. than anybody whose gender description is not three letters. Yeah. 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 All right? Yeah. And and I think that's where the dis- like that's where the I don't even want to call it a disconnect. But that's why I want to get to why I think men hit women. It's all an ego thing. It's all about control. Because uh, what I realized uh, growing up is like when my uncles were, would be chatting to their girlfriends, whoever, as m- the moment they felt like they're not in control of this woman, um, then they would hit her, you know, to sort of like gain back that control or whatever the yeah. case may be. And which is why I think as men, we need to understand that, okay, cool. If you're dating a woman, it doesn't mean you own her. Mm. She's your property. Mm. It doesn't mean you can do whatever you want with her. She's her own person. She's her own human being. And she's allowed to do whatever it is. And if you can't, con- you can't control everything. Mm. And if you can't, rather leave. No, my, my dad tried that shit. It didn't go far. Yeah. My mother kicks ass. <laughs> you kidding? My mother kicks ass. <laughs> he tried it once. <laughs> never tried it again. Yeah. My mother was like, yay, when? Yeah. Yay. Yeah. Yay. Yeah. You know? So... But I think we need to break the cycle, man, as men, because it goes on for too long in our societies where it's deemed like... Because here's the thing. I've got a son, right? Mm. And I'm going to preach for, to him like until I die that you never lay a hand on a woman, no matter what she does. You understand? And I wish there was... Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. No, Thank goodness hurt, you know the woman. <laughs> that hurt. Just see. And I wish there was someone uh, who... Told me that when I was young. Look, it's a it's a generational thing. Exactly. You tell your son, don't do this shit. Yes. One day, Mudimutan Zamalin na with a son or daughter, I don't know. <laughs> and I'll tell them equally that, like, yo, don't. Mm. Like my nigga, mm. don't. Mm. Mm. Like, yo, my homie, don't. And I think I've been fortunate enough mm. to have not grown up in such an environment yes because also again like I, I i didn't stay with my parents for long enough i think the most i've stayed with them was two years mm. the entire time i was not with them i stayed with my grandfather who's never laid hands on my grandmother yeah and then apart from that i was staying with my but you see your grandfather broke the cycle fair enough yeah fair enough but then 
he passed on the baton. Yeah. I need to pass the baton on. Exactly. So it's unto us to pass on the baton. It's to all good next, and well. To the Look, next kings. It, it's all good and well to what about king? What about queens as well? Yeah. It's not the responsibility of one side. Like people keep saying, oh, no, women must report abuse, whatever. Mm. If, if 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 it does not happen, then there wouldn't be anything to report. Mm. So that's something that needs to be like that's a cancer that needs to be cut for that for the physical abuse or abuse of any sort. And, to go and, away. And, and and that's why I'm asking you why because I think we need to get to the root of why men do this because Mam Pincha unfortunately is not going to be the last person who's who's uh, yeah no for sure in this uh, for predicament sure, for sure, for you know sure. what I mean and and you know what's unfortunate let me finish Chief. okay so because lady is not here I thought we were going to speak properly as <laughs> keys so, I'm playing two roles. <laughs> Multiplying myself, <laughs> multiplying myself. Uh, you know what but I mean? yeah, you were saying. So I'm saying, uh, uh, then it's up to us to find the root of the problem, you know, and then nip it in the bud. It's 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 ego, and you're right. It's ego, but more than ego, it's wanting control to control someone. Yeah, like it's. Like even now, right? And I'm I'm not trying to make it about me. Uh, he always says that when he's about to make it about himself. <laughs> but anyway, um, shit, you missed that. But no, let's I go. got a okay. okay, cool. I just didn't think it was fine. Okay, cool. That's yeah. fine. Um, context, but that's okay. It's <laughs> fine. That's not. See, you're laughing, <laughs> dude. You remind me that sometimes when uh, um. I listen back to the podcast and I listen to like all the stuff that you say mm. that I miss. I'm like, oh, fuck, where did I get that? It's okay. That was so dope. We'll catch but up. not that one. That one, I. Okay, that's fine. I'm wasting time. What I'm trying to say is, shit, what was I saying? <laughs> oh, um, I was saying I'm not making it about myself. Yeah. And then, oh, what I wanted to say was also furthermore than to do that, that, that in, in, in everything that's happening, right? I, 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 but my binge is fucked, dog. He's fucked. And it's not the first time he does it. Cause he's fucked, dog. Cause I could have must have exposed the whole thing earlier on and whatever. And what do you think about a... these political parties making it their, their campaign now? That, that's distasteful. Like D-A-E-F-F. No, look, if you're going to say something, say it from the genuinity of what it is mm. don't use it to score political points yeah which they they all, look they all spoke yeah so i'm not gonna point fingers you know mm. maybe some of them were really genuine yeah some of them were just using it because may is around the corner yeah so yeah but the the, the, the long and short of it is ne? like violence of any sorts whether i'm fighting with you or whether I'm fighting with the ghost lady, it, it shouldn't get to... Yeah, no, we can have a screaming match. Ah, that one, I'm always ready for, Chief. Mm. Ah, that one. And screaming match, sharp, we can go, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. That's cool. 60 seconds, bro. But it should never be about now demeaning each other and calling each other names that are untoward. All right. Like people usually do. So, in a nutshell, what I'm saying is, if you are here, I'm here for you. Fuck you. He know. He know. All right. So in closing, uh, please, uh, if it's your first time watching, do subscribe, do comment. Uh, I'm going to have Danelle on hopefully this Wednesday. She's yes. producing the episode. So if you've got any questions for her, do comment as and, well. And, 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 and do tell us, should we have a 50th episode? Not even a party. A bash. Dude, we're on 38. Can we at least get to 45? Or I get it, gives, it gives us planning time. I guess. Right, calm yourself. Relax, dog. Relax. Uh, and then, yeah, Tanda Tabuti is going to be on the podcast and chill. Uh, celeb edition. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. She's cool. Yeah. She yeah. aight. She yeah. aight. She yeah. cool. She cool. I like Tando. Yeah. You put it on, didn't you? On what? Uh, we'll talk about that later. Anyway, uh, we love you. Long time podcast and chill. Maggie Lemeleko out of here. Boom. <laughs> Mac G, the ghost lady, and Len Moleko.